Hi everyone, this is The Clumsy Simmer. Welcome to my very first YouTube video in Speed Build. Today we're building colorful row homes in the beautiful city of San Sequoia from the Growing Together expansion pack. Um, these row homes were actually built with just Growing Together in base game. So those are all you need to be able to download it from the gallery and have everything in place. You can download it regardless whether you have um, Growing Together or not, but you're just going to be missing the majority of the objects because I'm sh I know I use some base game, but the majority, like I said, is definitely Growing Together. Um, I actually built these like two months ago. It was before the For Rent expansion pack came out. It was inspired for the For Rent expansion pack. But um, I just never got around to actually editing the video and making the voiceover for it. So I'm, I'm pretty late actually getting it out to you guys. But um, I thought they turned out so good. I didn't want to just scrap this project altogether. I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. Um, I did actually just go back and create each of these with their own individual unit. So um, the blue one is its own family and then one is yellow and one's red and each individual townhouse or row home is its own unit. So um, as I was building this, I was kind of thinking, you know, one of these would be the home to the landlord and they would rent the other two out but you can play these with just three tenants or do it with the landlord and rent the other two out you know you can do whatever with the new pack the new pack is very glitchy I'm sure you guys know that by now um I've built several apartments with it and it's you know the building aspect of it works great, but the gameplay aspect of it is definitely on the broken side. Um, you know, there was an instance where I was playing as the landlord and we switched to a different lot. And then the rental page that um, you go and look at your different units and your tenant information and all that was just not even there. And it didn't matter how much I reloaded the page, went to a different lot. It just was not there. It was gone. So, um, yeah, I looked online and definitely is a bug that multiple people have been getting. Um, as well as the amount, the cost per unit will go into like the four billions of simoleons. And it's just a crazy number that we can't even, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. So hopefully those bugs are going to be fixed soon. I know we just had an update and we literally had no fixes for for rent. I think it was like just one very minor issue that was fixed, if even that. Um, anyways, enough of the never ending bugs in this game. We could stay on that topic for like ever. Um, let's just get back into the build. So right now I'm doing the backyard of all of the different townhomes. Um, I, I really love those trees. I do not know what they're called. I just love the way that they're shaped. I think they make the houses look so just good and neat and kind of on the elegant side. I wouldn't use it for a house that is on the cheaper side only for houses that, you know, you want to look more landscaped and maintenance and I'm working on some terrain paint now. I want to say my terrain paint had that glitch where it just disappears and I had to go back and redo it, but it was, it was super easy. I just used what literally one terrain paint on this build, um, put in some flowers and I love those yellow flowers. I think they just are just so vibrant and pretty. Um, I wanted each of these townhomes to have like different floors, different vibes all together. And the color that is on the outside, I stayed true or tried to stay true on the inside. So the red is going to have a bunch of red stuff and so forth. Right now I'm just working on the floor plan. Um, I 
am from Florida. We do not have basements here. Um, I, maybe some people do, but for the most part, we don't have basements here. So I do not know if I created realistic basements or not. I just feel like in movies, I've seen them in their own separate room and not really just out in the open in the house. So, um, yeah, feel free to tell me how basements work. I'm curious. Um, so I'm finishing up the floor plan. Each of these houses, I'm not going to lie, they each have the same exact floor plan. It just worked out that way. Um, I had a hard time making the floor plan, as you can see. I wanted it to be realistic. I love doing realistic style builds, so you'll see that quite often from me. Um, I like realistic builds. I love realistic gameplay. That's just my play style. Sometimes I will go into the occult realm, um, especially around like Halloween and stuff like that. Or if I just have a random feeling of wanting to play as a spellcaster or a werewolf, I'll, I'll play with them sometimes. But for the most part, I just do realistic gameplay. It's the best for me. I do, however, love playing with the aliens. I have no idea why. I just think they're so cute. Um, I don't play with them often, but when I do, I do have a great time with them. So now I'm just putting in some lighting. I believe this is just temporary lighting. Um, those lights are literally the best in the game. I know that's everyone's opinion on them. Um, I seem to jump back and forth a lot in the speed build between the different townhomes like I do like all the kitchens at once just so that they match um, and the format of them match so right now I'm putting in the red of course I had to go with the red cabinets um, I love red and black together <clears throat> I think they do they go great together Re readjusting some of the windows readjusting the cabinets because I hate seeing the thing in the back like the back of the cabinet in the back and I'm just trying to figure out the best layout for these uh this kitchen right here honestly I am not a huge fan of these base game counters they're kind of you know they're very modern and I'm not a huge modern type of person in real life nor in the sims. I don't know if it's just because I'm not good at building modern houses <laughs> or if it's just my not my style. I'm finishing up the red one now and I will be moving over to the blue and the yellow. Like I said previously it's literally the exact same thing. I know that gets kind of boring but this was a big build for me. <laughs> like I just wanted it not to take a week for me to build. <laughs> yep, here I am fiddling with those dang counters again. I don't know why I do this to myself. It's like I love to just torture myself. I could just place it like a normal person would, but no, I have to make it difficult for me. As I was editing this video, um, I did not know exactly how fast or how slow I should make it. It's on the faster side and certain parts of the video, I I mean, this is already a 38 minute video and it's on like one of the faster settings. I feel like if I put it down any, any lower, it would have been like an hour long. And I don't know if I can even talk for 38 minutes straight, <laughs> much less a whole hour. Uh, yeah, so maybe one day, but not right now. Um, let me guys, or let me know you guys if this is like way too fast and it's like making you go cross-eyed because if that's the case then I'll just I won't do that from now on I could do like two different parts to the video I don't really want to have to do that either because I hate having to go back and finding like a second part to a video so I don't want to do that to my audience but um I will if that's what you guys would rather do or I could just make the bigger builds a little bit faster like this um I'm just finishing up the downstairs bathrooms. Downstairs just has like a normal shower, not a shower tub combo, and then a sink, a toilet. Um, it's pretty basic. I, I don't 
love doing bathrooms at all. I really, they're one of my least favorite things to do. So they, sometimes I'll go all out and really decorate them. But for the most part, I don't. Um, as the, the most I'll do is you get a toilet paper roll. Okay. Um, I, at least you get that right. And then like a rug and like toothpaste and toothbrushes um because I do like me some realistic gameplay we are in the master bedroom for the red town home now um I was thinking a single mom with an infant lived here I did put a crib in the other bedroom for the infant I was also thinking that this mom was a professional painter. At first I was like, oh, you know, she could be a single mom in university and selling her paintings on the side, but this is a pretty nice townhome. So I don't think just, you know, being in university and selling some town some paintings on the side could get you that type of money, not in real life anyways, unless you're like a really good painter. But, you know, it's just, I don't, I think that's unrealistic. Uh, right now I'm putting in some of these counter lights I love putting those lights above the counters. I think it gives it like a more realistic lighting in the kitchen. Um, I'm putting some lights outside and changing all the lights inside to those growing together lights. I think those are some pr really pretty, uh, what do they call them, like pendant lights or something like that. I, that just sounds right to me, but I could be totally wrong. It's been so long since I've built this actual um, building that it's kind of like watching it over with you guys for the first time. So if I take some pauses here and there, I'm sorry. It's because I can't really remember what I was thinking at the time of building the build. Um, I think I'm going to prefer actual building the building and then doing the voiceover shortly after. Because as I'm building, I, I always think of scenarios for the sim that I'm building for. Uh, like, you know, there's the infant play thing there for the single mom, the other townhomes. I'll get to those once we start decorating those townhomes, but I believe those have bigger families in those. At least one of them do. Uh, right now I'm just finishing up the living room. I had very limited options using just base game and growing together. I know I would have loved to use different packs in this build, but I love to, you know, challenge myself and just use a couple different packs. And sometimes I do base game builds too. I actually do those quite often. I kind of go through phases where I build with all of the packs because I own all of them. But other times I go through phases where I do a lot of just base game builds and then I share those onto the gallery. So I'm going to link my gallery down at the bottom. I do a lot of builds but I also make a lot of sims and so if you love family type of sims and like I said even some occults here and there definitely check out my gallery. It's uh, the Clumsy Simmer which is my new uh, EA app name. I used to go by Wild Hippie Chick, but I don't. I just changed my name. It just... Starting a YouTube channel, I just didn't like the name Wild Hippie Chick. I, the Clumsy Simmer fits me way better because I am a very, very clumsy person. And I am a huge simmer. I have been my whole life. I started playing The Sims 2 at like... How old was I? Probably like five like maybe even sooner than that but five I remember um, going to the store with my friends and her parents was allowing her to pick something out and she was asking me my opinion and we passed the games and we were looking at the sims and I'm like that looks so fun so um the sims 2 and it was probably just the original one I don't think it I don't remember there being any expansion packs until we were a little bit older. And we were both just hooked. So um, that was my childhood best friend. We loved The Sims growing up. I unfortunately lost contact with her. So I don't know if she's into The Sims still, but I am. And I probably will always be. I kind of stopped playing during The Sims 3 um, era 
uh, I didn't love it, and that was during, you know, my high school years and stuff, so I was busy being a teenager. <laughs> um, not that I was busy doing schoolwork, I was just busy being a pain in the butt, you know, to my parents, and every adult probably. And then I, you know, lost touch with The Sims during The Sims 3, and then I didn't start playing The Sims 4 until, like, I was, like, 19, which would have been, oof, I'm gonna, I'm gonna age myself now, um, I'm 27 now, so I guess you guys could do the math, because I'm not very good at math, so I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been playing The Sims 4 ever since I was, like, 19, I'm 27 now, so it's been a long time. There was only a few packs out at the time when I first started playing it, so I wasn't a huge fan. Um, the Sims 2 just has a special place in my heart, probably because I was a kid when I first played it. But it really just, it has this thing about it where it just is so unique and quirky and cute and funny and I still have a great time playing The Sims 2. If you guys would like to see me do some builds on The Sims 2, let me know. I'm not very good at it at all. Um, I used to always just play with the pre-built homes <laughs> as a kid. And um, now that I'm an adult, going back and trying to play in those pre-made houses is just a no for me. So when I do play The Sims 2, I do build my own host houses. Doesn't mean they're good. But they are better than the pre-made houses, so at least there's that. I also mainly play with just the vanilla game. Sometimes I will download some CC in the Sims games that I play. Um, but for the most part, it's vanilla. It's just, I play with MC Command Center and UI Cheats Extension in The Sims 4, and that's about it. I just cannot stand having to keep up with all the different mods. I know there's like the Curse Forge app is like new and it's supposed to, I guess, keep up with your mods for you. But I just haven't gone around to even messing with that yet. So I just prefer the vanilla game for the most part. Always have been that way. I used to download a lot of like clothing CC for The Sims 2 as a kid. But now that I'm an adult, I, I love just the Y2K vibes that The Sims 2 has. It's just so, some of the items are super cute. Like the teen tops for the girls on The Sims 2 are just so cute. Um, but some of it is just so bad, but in the best way possible. Like the furniture in that game. It's so bad, so early 2000s. Lots of cherry wood and stuff like that. And it just, it just melts my nostalgic heart. Um, anyways, I am in the basement in the red townhouse now. Um, I decided to do like a little home gym with the little fencing, fenced off area for the infant to play while, you know, mom's working out or doing her thing down here. Um, I just thought it was a cute little idea. I literally had no idea what I wanted to do down here, but that's what I decided to do in this one. The other townhomes have different stuff in their basement. One is a bedroom, and the other one I think is just like a game room type of area that I did. Uh, I'm just putting in these motivational posters, because who doesn't love a good motivational poster to motivate you to work out? I know I need all the motivation that I can get. <laughs> Uh, I absolutely love those little, like, teddy bear chairs that I just put down for the little kids. I think they're just so adorable. Something I would love to have as a kid, and once I do have a kid of my own, they are for sure going to have one of those. Um, now I am finally getting into the blue townhouse. Just painting the walls. Like I said, I wanted to stay true with the colors on the exterior, so it, this one is very, very blue, and I do not mind. I love the color blue in a Sims house. Um, now I am in the master bedroom. This 
is for the grandparents. Okay, so I was thinking as I was building this blue town house that this would be a larger family that lives here, has different generations that live here. Uh, one or two grandparents, uh, one or two parents, a baby, like a newborn baby, not an infant, and as well as a child. Um, I, so... I didn't really have, you know, careers in mind, not that I can remember anyways. I just wanted to furnish this for a bigger family. Um, I was thinking the landlord would actually live in the yellow house. Um, I believe I just gave them, like, a bedroom for one or two parents and then a set of bunk beds in the kids' room, so uh, a set of twins would most likely share that room. Um, this blue one is actually getting put together quite quickly, quicker than I remember it. The red one took forever, I feel like, but um, now we are in the kids' room in the blue townhouse. I think that blue bunk bed with the dinosaurs is absolutely adorable. Um... I wanted to put some kids activities in their room. I try to do that with all the kids rooms that I do. I also try to give each of the kids rooms like their own personality. Uh, so I was thinking this kid loved dinosaurs, loved to do anything with the mental skill, uh, loved making those little health potions or whatever the kids do on those mental uh, activity tables right there. I also put a drawing activity table in there. I figured those little um little fish crafts that I put on the wall is something that, that the kid would have made and give to their parents or their grandparents. Of course had to have some of those tooth furry posters in there that came in growing together. Um just putting some bits and pieces in the bathroom like a rug and some towels and some curtains and stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, bathrooms are not my favorite. They are quite boring to do. I think in this corner, I just put, yeah, I put this little rocket thing. I just thought that was super cute. I uh, just wanted to make this townhouse feel super lived in, like a big family actually does live here. Um, I could not decide what table I wanted to do. That would not have been my first choice, but like I said, just having base game and growing together... The options were limited. Um, now I'm just looking for some decor pieces to put on the counter. Those lunch boxes that they newly added, adorable. I love them. And the fact that they match the book bags that were already in the game. And I think they updated the swatches on the book bags and they added more swatches. And it's just so cute. I love that touch to add to a kid's bedroom or lunchbox on the counter if a kid lives in that house. It just makes it feel more family-oriented, which I like. Um, usually in these stairways, I like to put, like, the coat rack or a coat hanger. And sometimes I'll put a mirror or, like, a table if it's big enough, but that one was so tiny, so I couldn't fit very much. Uh, now I'm just in the living room. I... Uh, Usually always add a TV, unless it's like a super fancy house, then I'll leave the TV out. I'll usually, in the fancy houses, I'll do like one living room and then one like entertainment room, if that makes sense. So it's like a sitting room and an entertainment room. One will have a TV and one will just be like set up. And you know, you ever been to those people's houses? Like my grandma was like this growing up. Her front room... Nobody was allowed to sit on that couch at all. You had to only sit in the back living room that had the TV. Uh, that front one was off limits. Nobody could sit on it. You can't run down. No furniture or anything like that. Um, but I love my grandma. She's so sweet. She said it in the sweetest way possible. But we knew. We knew to stay out of there. Um, Anyways, uh, we are down in the basement of the blue townhouse now. I remember this particular room 
stressing me out the most of this whole build, probably. I do not know why I let building in The Sims stress me out the way that I do, but I do. I I just love, I'm a perfectionist, I guess. I just love my builds to be as perfect as possible, even though they never are perfect, far from perfect, but they're perfect to me. So <laughs> that's all that matters. Um, just trying to format this room to not be so empty and so big was pretty hard. Uh, over here, I end up putting like a little bassinet for a baby. Right now, there's a crib, but I end up just replacing that for a bassinet. And overall, I think the room comes out okay. Just okay. It's not my favorite. Um, I remember being disappointed in it, but it I wanted it to be as realistic as possible, and I do think I achieved that. Um, so I'll put like a little recliner or a little uh, rocking chair there. And then I put some shelves here above the changing table and I'll add some um, like diapers and little baby necessities just like you would in real life. And then I believe I also add a TV and a sofa in there. I wanted it to feel like that was the parent's room and sometimes they just want their own space away from the grandparents of the house and maybe away from the child too. That sounds bad, but I know, I know, um, children can be, uh, a lot sometimes and sometimes we just need to be away from them. So, um, yeah, I believe I'm finishing it up now. I'm just adding some, um, last minute stuff like the books right here. Um, I like to make it as functional as possible as well as as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Um, I guess I forgot to add something in the red one, so here I am just adding it now. And here is the shelving I was talking about. So there's some diapers I put on there and some baby like, um, like a baby combs or brushes or something like that and just some baby stuff. I'm not a parent, obviously, so I do not know exactly what you need, but I do know you need some self-care stuff for the babies. Uh, just adding some plants, a closet. Uh, that's looking about done now. Now we are just finishing up the outside. You seen me earlier add that swing outside. I think that swing is so stinking cute. It came in the Growing Together expansion pack. It's probably my favorite swing in the game other than one of the kits. I do not remember which kit it was. I think there's like a kit for like the backyard or maybe it was the Moonlight Camper kit. I'm not sure, but one of them came with a swing set and I actually haven't even used it in a build, <laughs> but I think it is just beautiful. Like I would love it in real life. It has like some comfy looking seats and these beautiful rugs that match it. Um, not really rugs, but like feet mats, I guess, that go under this, the swing uh, chair. It, it's beautiful. I'll have to do a build and uh, point it out to you guys, just in case you don't know about it. I'm sure you do, but just in case. Um, anyways, back into the build. We are in the yellow one now, so we are towards the end of this super long video. Um, this is the one I was thinking maybe the landlord lived in. Honestly, any of them could be the landlord. I think the blue one's my favorite, but um, the yellow just kind of made sense to be the landlord. And um, so I think I mentioned already that uh, two parent, one or two parents lived here as well as their two children. I was thinking they had a set of twins. Um, and I don't think I really thought of a job for any of the people that lived here. But maybe being the landlord is their job. So we'll just go with that. Their job is being a landlord. Um, just putting in some loose ends in the downstairs bathroom. Oh, and by the way, my dogs decide to now 
they want to act up and start barking at things outside. So if you hear something in the background, that is one of my three dogs. I have three boxers, Sammy, Callie, and Jackson, and they are the sweetest dogs ever. I love them. I am a huge dog person. I also have a couple of cats, so obviously I'm an animal lover. Um, they are well taken care of though, and actually I think they take care of me better than I take care of them. Um, not that they're not taken care of, don't take that out of context. Uh, just they, they they do so, they keep me company, they keep me calm, you know, anybody that's a pet owner and they love their pets, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so we are finishing up the downstairs now, I ended up, um putting so that table set I believe is from growing together um, and some of these antique ancestor pictures I like to put those in my sims houses and I just feel like you know those were some some of their ancestors <laughs> that they never met some of their old ancestors I know some people actually do have some ancestor pictures in their house like for real uh, my fiance's mother has some of their old ancestors portraits up in her house and I think it's pretty cool um, right now we are in the children's bedroom at this point I obviously forgot the yellow um, the yellow theme of the townhouse so shortly I'll scrap this blue and green idea and I'll go to yellow uh, that's what I'm doing right now and actually this placement that I put these beds in with the table underneath the bunk bed I forgot that that is not playable like that so I did go back and adjust this room I just put that bottom bunk to the other side um, and it's playable now I do play test all my builds so I know it sucks you know downloading a build from the gallery and it doesn't work so I do try and play test all my builds with that being said, there will be some times I miss something. I am only human, so sorry, but I do my best. I do the best that I can. Um, I believe I end up putting that tree back in that area right there. I do not remember. I wish I would have left it there because it was super cute. But um, into the master bedroom now. I wasn't happy with how this one turned out either. I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. I know I wanted to use that sunflower bed though. It just matched it so well. <laughs> matched this whole house so well. Um, just putting in the closet now. I think I did a lot of the closets the same. Um, it's just, like I said earlier in the video, I didn't want to spend so too long on this build. I wanted to get it done and I figured if you guys didn't like the way that it was furnished you could just refurnish it yourself a lot of the houses that I used to download from the gallery I would refurnish myself but I actually it's been a long time since I've downloaded a house from the gallery I just love building my own houses now and a lot of the time for my own gameplay I will do like a rags to riches challenge so I'll start with zero simoleons and I slowly build up so that forces you to build your own house anyways. And now I am just finishing up the upstairs. I do not believe that bonsai tree stays there. Um, I guess we will find out together. And um, neither does that telescope. I don't think that telescope stays either. Um, but I just added some plants in that corner. And uh, since there is a couple of kids that lived here, I wanted to do some sort of kids activity outside for them. And I love adding bikes like this against like the railing of the stair. I just think it looks so realistic. Um, if I had the tool mod installed, I probably would even just put some like leaning over on the ground because I think a lot of kids in real life just you know throw it on the ground and call it a day right until their parents yell at them anyways <laughs> um, now we are down into the basement of the final townhouse we are nearing the end finally um, I was gonna do this like a skill room with like the woodworking table and stuff but 
it just was such a big room. I did not know how to fill it with just scale items that wasn't already in the house. So I scrapped that idea and I decided, you know what, let's do like a little game room sort of thing. Um, I think I set that area over by the TV. I set that area up as like a movie area type of thing. I figured they could come down here and watch movies. This would be a really good like party room to do. Um, like have host your parties in and when the teen when the kids grow up to teenagers this would be a really fun room for them to invite their friends over and just hang out in um just adding some of these posters around uh that cow plant one is amazing it's probably one of my favorites um couldn't really decide exactly the vibe I wanted this room to be I tried to make it as you know simple as possible but um I think it turned out pretty good overall well with that we are nearing the screenshots now so I will leave you guys to enjoy that and see you in the next one bye bye